So, well, we are now here uh, wrapping up our first month of production for the Millennium Project. We're working at uh, Sandpoint in the fire station, which is appropriate. So from the drawings and the model, we've moved into production and uh, the challenge has been to communicate to everybody how to execute something that I'm learning to do. So in a way, it is sort of the small school approach and it's identifying each person's skill and talent and, and finding a place for them to work smoothly with, as a team and have a small crew of dedicated, hardworking folks who are at, out there sawing and stapling and nailing and putting these horsemen and animals together and they're working great. Try to get this plane to go right. This is going to be like this, angling right? back like this until we get back to here, and then it's going to be angling it, back like that, right? Right. Yeah. So, so you need basically like a there. piece that goes across. Does it go up though? Mm, you have the model. Yeah, no, it doesn't really go up. Um, Actually, that might be enough of a hump right there. Actually, just about like that would probably do it. Yeah, I think so. I guess it's a little different than what he has right there, but I don't think it's going to be enough to be noticeable. But actually, this is for the, it's the arm and the yeah, that's throw down there. So it does go back right. down, sort of. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I think and something like that. And it's pretty extreme right there, too. When that's yeah, that. and that would give us this Model. plane here, then this plane, and then I think that'd work out. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we'll pad basically sort of our holster our way down around the hips and it's just sort of mashing the cardboard to make the shape and then stapling it on and it can all be nuanced with a pot glue and just sort of work our way all the way down to the foot. And it's really pretty simple, the basic form that has to happen and then on top of that will hot glue the stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is just keep all of the things going at the same time so that this whole piece sort of evolves as a finished piece and then we'll hot glue the rest. Okay, so there's the plan. We also need to route out uh, something down the neck so that we can put the fuse. So that, cause this one, the head does slide in and out and in fact, the fuse has to be going down that neck in order for anything to happen in the head. A rotating wheel would be lovely. I don't know where we would mount it.
and then bring it through, un unwrap it up and bring it up the front. We're going to wire them all right here. Um, so the smoke, I think we can wire right onto here. Because of the nature of the shape and what it's going to try to do at the end, which is have this firework shoot out a hole roughly. Once you got it in place, you want to sort of take note of exactly where your plate is. You have to make a mark on the horse. You see, now I have, so I'm lining it up with that. So that One of the biggest challenges that for me in this project was the scale of the pieces and not exactly knowing how they would be realized from the simple forms that I started with to the more complex built forms that they are now. And it's been a big learning curve for me and a challenge to teach everybody else what I'm just learning. 
So now I think the bear is on his way up here, and there'll be a short progression of all of the animals, and they should be rolling in any minute now, and we'll fin do the finishing work on those at the same time, and pretty soon there'll be a wild menagerie of animals and horsemen. So the white horse is the leader, and he's the conqueror. His name is Conquest. And, and then the, the red horse is War. And then the black horse here with the guy with the suit, that's Famine. And he's the merchant who withholds goods for, for a price. And is, you know, oftentimes food doesn't get distributed where it's needed. And then the last one, of course, is Death. We're now moving the animals to the staging ground. It's Friday, and tomorrow we will, or actually it's Thursday. Saturday we will move them into place. They'll spend the night outside. And then of course Sunday.
Sorry. Now where's the um, control? Control station will be over there about where the that oh, okay. stack of wonder board okay, is. Okay, I'm just like kind of looking at my trajectory from that. Um, Oh, you mean the where you're going to be with Mary? I'm Mary. It's right over there by that cube. Oh, okay. Yeah, right next to it. Okay. Boy, these towers, if the video is on that tower over there, it's going to be a hot one. The centerpiece is uh, 17 feet tall. It's a giant egg on a huge nest on a, on a great cart. That is surrounded by 12 different animal pieces that represent basically the life forms on the planet. And that takes the center stage. Flanked on the four directions are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Over the last year, People have been and have written down wishes that are being incorporated into the pieces and there are over 10,000 written wishes that people have gathered and we will be incorporating those into the pieces during the ceremony.